Let's see, while we're over here, we might as well see what her little extra credit is. So, what was that extra credit assignment you had in mind for us, Zina? Ah, I'm glad you asked. If you're interested, just step in that other room over to the right. The door is open now. What do we got? Huh. Welcome to my personal battle simulator. This should be the perfect place for you to practice. This room is able to magically morph to suit your needs. It can also generate simulated foes for you to fight based on your memories. Just touch the crystals you have you have rematches with boss level foes you previously fought. It's only a simulation foe though, so if you change your mind, you can flee from these battles. This is incredible, Senna. Thanks for letting us use it. Yeah, no kidding. You just have this? I mean, I've trained a lot of guardians. I'm not gonna have them sparring in my living room. You know, if we had access to this place a few days ago, probably would have solved a lot of problems. You're never gonna let me live the basement dungeon down, are you? Um. I, I ooh, feel like feel like this is a bit of a spoiler. There's gonna be four more bosses. So hold on, we got. Powered up Paula. Where's normal Paula? Is normal Paula even... I see. So I feel like we're gonna have a... I feel like those robots that um, Javis made are all gonna be their own boss fight. Like I think it's gonna be all four of them in one boss fight. And then I feel like we're gonna fight jo actually it might be like Javis and then his four minions all at once. I think that might be just one big boss fight. Then I feel like there's gonna be at least one fight with Verena. Hmm, actually I think the fight with Verena might be more of a scripted boss fight. Uh no. I don't want to use monster dens. I do think the monster dens are a good concept, you know, instead of having to, like, rezone an area just to, to farm for XP, you can just go into the monster den and just repeatedly get a bunch of uh, fights. But I'm not looking to do any power leveling. So let's fast travel back home and see if there are any other side quests. Hey! How'd you kids get up there? Miss Leon, did you know there's a door to the astral plane upstairs? Oh yeah! Forgot that was up there. Well, just be sure to wipe your feet before you come in. Don't need y'all tracking the stardust in the shop. Mom, can I go to the astral plane, please? Maybe for your next birthday, kiddo. Spell books with special pieces of equipment that can teach you a whole set of new special abilities. As soon as you equip one, you can use all the spells in the book right away. You don't have to worry about training or your level of experience or nothing. You just pass them as long as the book is equipped. Also, they're kinda heavy, so every party member can only equip one spellbook at a time. Make sure you buy a lot of them. Fucking love Pepper. Pepper, best NPC. <laughs> Even if I uh, am not a pro uh, professional at the at the the kitty woo woo voice, I just can't not. All right, let's sell a bunch of our jank. What would you like? Hey! We got we got we got our dolly analog now. <laughs> Although I think she's more of a ferret. <laughs> um let me sell actually oh wait, can I buy I cannot buy water, so I didn't mean to hit that button. Da 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 da. 
Yep, 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 yep. I want to sell... You know what? I don't want to sell any normal items. But equipment, there's a lot of stuff I can sell. I think. Not made with real hearts. Oh, uh, yeah, that would be concerning. Attack, defense, magic, defense. Alright, so we need this for Melody and Claire. They're already pretty set on that stuff. Wait, was that everything? Huh. Alright, let's sell a lot of our old gear real quick. There's no way I'll sell... Hmm. Interesting how I can't sell those items. I don't know if it's because you only get one of them, period, dot. Or maybe there's something that will improve them. Alright. Generic brand pauldrons! Um, I'm gonna keep the cow cowgirl hat for moral for morale reasons. Um, the other helmet gives magic defense. I want to keep it. Or it gives magic attack. Genuine snake oil bottle. Damn. We really went out here and juiced some snakes. That is ridiculous. Alright, so we want to switch Melody back to Magical Girl. No, silver plate armor is just straight up there. Noted. Alright, nope, not Jody. I want to go to Claire. And give her the heart circlet. And I do like Chronomancer. Allison. Don't have a better weapon for her. Still can't equip a spell book. That drives me nuts. Fighter's headband still the best. Chance to counterattack. Okay, and then for Jody. Um we wanna use Spellblade. So I mean her usual opening move is gonna be taunt, activate counterattack. Yeah, we'll keep Spellblade. Yeah, Silverplate Helm's the best. Uh, Shield T is a little bit better, actually. Interesting. I see. Alright. Um, now they mentioned those dragon doors. I believe I know... I think one of them was in the Ashen Woods, but I think I remember one of them being on the beach? Because I believe I've walked past it. Let's see if I'm crazy. Yeah! What do we got in here? Gods, if I just spent all that time... Fashion Expert Badge. Was it Fashion Expert Badge? Allow someone to equip every piece of gear regardless of class. Interesting. Wait, if I give that to Allison... Nope, still can't use spellbooks. Well, shit. Um, I should check the shop to see if there are any magic spell books that I might want to snag. So I do have a fuck off amount of monies. And money exists to be spent. The simple accu accumulation of money is worthless. Ooh, 
Goo. Geomancer. Bard. Sure. Alright, now I got one of everything. Why now? Um. That's weird. Anyway, let's see if we can find that other dragon door that was in the woods. I certainly don't remember where it is, so let's try going left. Actually, wait a minute, isn't there... I think there was something I needed Jody for that was over here as well. Like, I think I saw some kind of lake. Hmm. Or am I going crazy? Yeah, 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 this thing. We need to find a way to deal with these. Oh, I... Hmm. I thought Jody would be able to just, like, skip across them, but I suppose not. I see. Um... Nope, this was the wrong way. Wait a minute, does this guy sell water? Nope. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, never mind. It's just he sells merch. You know what? Get you get you that get you that bread. Get you that bread. However you need it, mate. It's a it's a tough world out there. I ain't gonna begrudge someone making a dollar. Especially with the power of Pelor! Alright, is this the way to that one dragon door it briefly showed? I don't give a shit about that chest! I don't want to save because I'll just quit and reload if this is the wrong path. Nope. Oh, this is to the woods. Okay, actually I should save. Save on that one. Oh, it's right here. Is behind this door going to be something with, to do with those fucking flowers? Bloom. Okay, dude. We've been seeing these flowers and bodies of water all over this place for days. No suspicious, no suspiciously plant place plant can stand in our way now. Hey, Glado, Glado, da 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 <laughs> we just had we met Zinna and now there's the final question mark quest wait what is this the right zone hold on back here weekly TTRPG ooh nice are you playing or DMing This is what wizards did for fun, before they had stuff like the internet or contact juggling balls. Just leave big cubes out in the woods. Hey, don't knock until you try it. The best wizards get up in the morning because they know even their most trivial actions will continue to perplex strangers long after they're gone. Kinda like modern art. The actual purpose of this cube is less important than the fact that it's making us think. Oh god, yeah. Wizards love that stuff. 
just playing. Oh yeah. Oh look, the, even the flowers are schmoving here. Yeah, it's always a nice change of pace. I have only been able to play in a very minor amount of games. I've been the DM most of the time. You'll forever DM itis. All right, what do we got here? Poison Frog Ball and a Pine Corona. Oh wait, you know what? They're probably not around. Corona, hmm, that's a, I think of a reference to a web serial. All right. Um, always begin with the smooches. And let's get rid of Poison Frog so I don't deal with uh, status effects. We have Jody Taunt. Actually, I should have used Ice on the Pinecone. And all you see is a Pinecone mutant thing? Yeah! It's a flaming Pinecone. And an inflating frog. Oh no! It's becoming huge! All right, Allison, finish off the frog. We'll do multi-frost, and then... Uh... Let's just give Allison an ice blade, because why not? Nice freeze, but you are dead. Um. Oh, hey, Paladin's gift. Oh, Paladin's gift was gone because I understand now. Noted. Um, let's just finish it. But uh, are you doing a? Oh, damn it, burned all of us. Is a normal D and D campaign, or are you going with some other? more interesting system. Hey, Pudley! Welcome on by- Oh my god, I just fucking remembered. With the Dolly Raid and everyone, I did not do any shoutouts. I am a professional streamer who is smart and helps out amazing people and their comrades when they raid. I need, I need to make a note. I owe, I owe raids. I don't know how I'll make it up, but I'll find a way. Another mysterious mechanism. How fun. It kind of looks like there's supposed to be a bridge here. This pedestal is probably connected to that. Maybe we need to find the key to fit that hole? Come on, let's just wade across the river. It's like two feet deep. Allison, the water here is glowing neon blue. I don't trust that. It's probably supercharged with mana or electrolytes or something. What's so dangerous about a mana river? Aren't our bodies full of mana now? Your body is also full of blood, but if you saw a river of blood, you wouldn't want to take a sip, would you? I mean, no, but if you told me not to, I'd be a little tempted. Stop. Niche India Carry Fellowship? Hmm, I don't think I've actually heard that one. Yeah, I was certainly not expecting it, especially because it was a whole crew of people. But I hope your day is going well, P Puddles. Hope you had having a good Monday and a fantastic weekend. Also, Freaky Flower. I have to kill these first. The the eye the eyes on them mean I have to kill them first. I have to kill them first. For the love of everything, the flowers must die. I have played too much uh, Fibbage in Jackbox to abide flowers with eyes. Fellowship. I don't think I've heard of that one actually. For a long while, I was just kind of like collecting uh, RPG books, so I have a lot. Wow, did my entire party just whiff the fuck out of all of that? Wow, I really did. Um, uh, well, shit. I guess taunt.
The fellowship makes me think of like an animal. Sort of like a red wall kind of thing. Um I think she's just chained for three turns. There's nothing much I can do about that. So I guess I just fucking bash him. Uh, we'll go in counterattack stance, because why not? Yeah, I've been that's why I've kind of been trying to make all I've been trying to make like a a button I can press to shout out people who raid. I don't want to make like an auto shout out for raiders because I feel that can be abused and I just kind of I I kind of only want to shout out peeps that I'm comfortable shouting out. You know, it's it's nice to meet new people, but you know, when it comes to shouting out, I feel like I'm kind of promoting them in a way. I feel like I kind of need to do a little bit of discernment on the people I call out. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm overthinking things, but I can't control what my brain does. I just have to live with it. <laughs> okay, maybe I just hear it. Ah, here doesn't work on that. I see. Cool, you love to see it. But not actually. Um, we'll go with a blast beat. I should finish that piece of shit off. And then to make sure we'll stab it with Jody. Oh no, the frog is growing! Uh, yeah, let's give a little bit of mana to everyone, why not? Let's go for a left jab. Claire can do a bit of freezing as a treat. And Jody can attack. Finish it. I certainly wonder what the frogs do when they inflate. I don't know if they just get stronger or if, like, I don't kill them when they're at max inflation if they pop. Oh, we just gotta go to the side over here. God, that is such a pretty water texture, though. Oh, I love those blues. Oh, and you can see a little bit of, um, what is it, like quarter tone kind of, sort of effect. <sighs> I'm just wondering where your shadows are weird because they're expecting some context, but also means you're literally directing friends towards someone else's content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A dithering. I learned a new term. Here we get a frost, so we will give Ice Blade to Allison. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I have buttons, like, so I can just do this. Eventually, I'm gonna have another, like, image because you know for dolly i had that little otter squeaking i have i have plans to have something for everyone but that's a little bit more of a long-term project i i don't want to get distracted with it so i want to make sure i finish when it comes to doing art stuff i gotta make sure i do focus my energy on the lore video which i wanted to have done a long while ago but the brain worms didn't allow it, and also a skill issue. Certainly an aspect of like, I need to just, I need, I need to stop trying to be 200% extra and just actually just get it done. Cerulean armor? 
Damn, look at that armor. I mean, it's flat. It's flat as a board. It don't got cake, but, you know, it can sure pose. <laughs> I appreciate the offer, Glottal. I think, like, the big thing is, is one part to... You know, I, I learn things better when I have a concrete project to be working towards. And I wanted to do like a lore video and like do the art and voicing and editing of all of it myself. Um, just because like I I've, I've had to commission for you know the model and like the overlays and stuff because just my art skills weren't at a level that I was satisfied with. But I feel like with with a with a lore video, I just want to do whatever 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 I'm able to make. I want it to be something that I put together. If that makes sense. At least for the initial one. <laughs> um, I feel like the cerulean armor is going to be resistant to frost, so I'm going to hit with a scorch actually. I guess right. Get fucked. Ooh, and go for an inferno. Very personal, makes sense. Want to do it yourself? Yeah. Basically. Damn. Oh, it became all scrungly. Oh no, it's flattening! <laughs> We've deflated the armor! <laughs> the armor, like, animated armors always make me think of um, Dungeon Meshi. Which, if you haven't heard of Dungeon Meshi, um, stretch. Alright, oh, I'll stretch! Uh, uh, if you haven't heard of Dungeon Mesh, oh, and Heinrich. It is a manga basically about going through, you know, like a dungeon dive, but, um, like, exotic culinary, like, eating the monsters kind of thing. It's really what, like, the art's amazing, the, like, Treating dungeons as like an ecosystem, um, the way it handles that is very fascinating. But like one thing that I always thought was really, really fucking cool, and if I ever ran another campaign, is absolutely how I would make animated armors work, is that animated armors are actually like mollusks. So like between the metal plates it is where the entity lives, and they have just that iron or steel, like the metal shell outside. And then they form colonies um, up that's roughly in the shape of armor. Freaky flowers and a mystic specter. Oh shit, this is spooky as hell. Yeah, yeah, it's really, it's really neat. Another fun, another fun uh, dungeon creature. Um, so like, instead of having like a chest mimic, what it was is there were... Um, I think they were like jeweled insects, so they looked like, you know, like a pearl necklace or something, but it was actually sort of like a centipede creature with, um, and they had a lot of like paralytics, paralytic venoms kind of thing. So, you know, that you open the chest and it's, they look like jewels and stuff, but they're actually a, uh, a tr uh, it's an ambush predator and it tries to paralyze you and then eat you kind of thing. Doodle, how you doing? How you doodling? I hope your Monday's going well. Or at least, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. 
We'll get, get rid of the freaky flowers before they lock down all my units. All the buffs for Allison. Ah! The gnomes! <laughs> God, that Nuzzle emote really is fantastic. You did such a great job on it. So fucking cute! Uh, let's go with Taunt, because they're kind of messing up all my units. Over here, dummy! Entered a complete ADD style flow state where you're only, one, only now returning to hand humanity. Huh. Whose turn is it? Allison? Alright, I think we can kill one freaky flower, and then this one can scorch another, and then Jody can make sure that one dies. I certainly know that. There's... I know there's sometimes days where I feel like, uh, I describe it as being, like, out of phase with reality. I just feel kind of weird and floaty. I don't know. It's just always surreal when it happens. Not as bad as uh, when I was in my monster habit, monster drinking habit, and uh, after drinking like two or three, I'd feel like the veins of time itself were pumping. Um, which is one of the reasons why I'm happy that I've kind of been able to quit that habit. <laughs> I think I'm like nine months, nine months clean now. <laughs> Um, let's do a round of guards so I can use the mana regen. 24 hours divorce from your body needs? Oh, I, I had a day like that a couple weeks ago. Where like the next day I realized like, wait a minute, I didn't... I didn't go to the bathroom all day pretty much. And then as soon as I thought about that, uh, my bodily needs returned in full force. Clean this blender model up so you can go through Maximo. What's... what's Mixamo? We found a Benoi! Oh, the poor thing. We better find a place for this little guy to stay. track record of wild shit you've done. I mean, hey, at least shit's getting done. Oh, we need to steal from this armor. And we'll give out... Actually, let's... Let's taunt first. It's glottal serving looks. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of the Jojo, one of the Jojo poses of Dio, where he's kind of like, you know, turned away and he has his arms weirdly caressing himself. As he's spouting off some kind of weird one-liner. That's the first thing my mind goes to. Like, in my head, you know, it's facing away from us. Um, let me see. I need to heal yourself. Caressing yourself while monologuing isn't weird. I totally don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Perfectly normal. Yeah, and see, one advantage of being a snake is I can give myself hugs. I just wrap myself up. Oh, shocking close to glottal look wise. Well, now it's like a dolly sized glottal. <laughs> now it's a gremlin glottal. Taiwanese knockoff. We have glottal at home. The glottal at home. 
<laughs> yeah, it's your uh, Alibaba knockoff glottal. Aha! We can now go past this cube that was stopping us. I... Please, no enemy battle. Phew! We slipped past. We gave him the slip. One of the single most why thing I've ever done to your body. I mean... As long as we're not about to have some, like, body horror. Um... Things are starting to get a little bit fucky here. A little, a little fucky-wucky. Personally, I was going for something more... Oh, hello, boys. What brings you here? Father, we are bored. Very! Yep. My queen, do you think now is the time? I think it is. Our guests of honor have yet to RSVP. Let's bring a bit of the party to them. Do you remember where our targets were located, boys? Yes, father. Excellent. Go. Make me proud, boys. Uh, I said, I mean, as long as it's not like some something that's about to be like body horror or gross, I guess. I thought they were supposed to wait for us. I guess they got tired of waiting, like Paula before them. Hmm, I mean, ultimately, if we stop Verena, that will resolve everything, right? But I bet whoever is in here has some pretty good loot. Wait. Okay, so each of them, Sapphire Coast, I don't know, I'm the woods. I see. I love the glitch music. So, you finally decided to quit cowering in fear and face me. I don't believe we've had a formal introduction. They call me Killer Ray. So does that mean you kill people? No. Then who calls you that? Who is they? My brothers. Because I asked them to. So... I tire of your questions, Harrys! I did not come here for an interview. I am here to do battle with my father's most hated foes, and win his favor in the process. I am positive that after this battle you will be feeling quite negative, if you are able to feel anything at all. So we got the we got the edgy edgy teenager of the group. I'm pretty sure all of them have daddy issues. They were kind of created to have daddy issues. I assume you have the concept of magnets in this dimension, correct? How a beam attack will have a greater effect on a target with the opposite polarity. Well, if you aren't familiar, consider this a lesson. Huh. Alright, we start with our usual. We do we do some smooching. Um We do a bit of yoinking. We do a bit of smooching. And we do a bit of taunting. Marley got Marley's mellow soda, fire our energy in a bag of dinner rolls, and we should go sip off the top of the soda and dump five hour into it and drink that. Ah! Yeah. Yeah, I know that's what, one thing I found when I was deep in my, um... Monster energy drinking, was that I would eat- I would certainly be eating a lot more food. Alright, so I think what it means is that whatever color his orbs are, the opposite people are going to take bonus damage, and I think the people with the same polarity will take less damage. So I need to focus on healing whoever's about to die. Oh look! It's Claire! Claire's the one about to die. 
Gee, that never happens. Claire. Alright, let's do... Let's do speed up on Allison, and let's activate counterattack stance. Headcanon Claire is anemic, that ass. She just wants to die. She has almost half the health of the healer. Uh oh. Oh man, they he he wants he wants that fox booty. Ooh, he's going for that fox booty. I need to do a little bit of attack boosting. Jody, I need you to bury your melody. But this is a really funky thing, like the soda was something that just made you feel very tired. Hmm. And he has got a lot of HP. Hell yeah. Yes, survive, Melody. Um, kind of need to give her HP though. Allison, you can go with a beat blast. You can go with a scorch. Jody, I wish you had enough for cracking the armor, but they're not attacking you, so this is very awkward. Actually, I should have had Jody smooch her girlfriend, because that would have given me a guaranteed star power. Or at least attacking gave her star power. Um, this is going to be a long fight. We're going to be in this little long haul, so let me top off Claire while no one's in the danger zone. Allison does not have speed up anymore. So let's go for a let's go for a normal attack. Claire, speed up Allison again. Jody, crack the armor. How the captain and captain can mill out people at ADHD basically causes body to produce dopamine. Eh. Killer Ray and you have the same shoes. I mean, he does have some pretty sweet kicks. Mellow Mood Soda has melatonin in it. Well, now you know why you felt so tired. So you are basically taking an upper and a downer at the same time. You're taking melatonin at the same time you were taking caffeine. Uh, that's pretty dangerous. I'm glad you're still alive. Explains the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah it does. Let's give... Time heals all wounds, so we have a little bit more healing going on. Um. Oh man, Jody. Takes more than something like that to kill me. Now, this guy probably has 2,000. Mm, probably has close to 7,000. Eight? No, probably more like 10,000 HP. That seems about right. I feel like this game has pretty round numbers for HP. Maybe closer to 12,000. So this is gonna be a long haul. Maybe, maybe I'm rushing a bit, trying to go straight into this without any kind of farming, but... I never said I was a smart serpent. Just one that has a single brain cell. Uh, let's give Allison a lightning blade. I want to see what happens. Hey, we froze him solid. Perfect. Alright, so let's use Magic Aura real quick. Let's use Auto Attack. Let's use. His beaver. So I should do a round of buffing basically while he's frozen. 
Larry Mood and Rose Hip stuff as well. It was a bunch of idiot middle schoolers. Right? So, okay. I mean, I know someone um, when I was in military training school, someone had to get rushed to the hospital because they had. I think it was like a Red Bull, a Monster, a five hour energy drink, and then Mountain Dew. And I think there was one other thing, but they basically mixed it all into one giant uh, drink. And then they chugged it right before class one day. And they got like heart palpitations. And like, <laughs> that's why they were rushed off to the hospital because they were, they were not in a good way. I remember the craze of Four Loco. I never got a Four Loco though. Let's refresh the attack boost. Let's um, crack the armor. Crack the armor. Literally killed a lot of people. Damn. Oh, that was the thing that was like an alcoholic energy drink, right? Pouring more ingredients into it to discover the legendary fifth logo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, she can't really deal damage, but might as well as use Gust? Question mark. And we will blast beat. And you can use a Valanche. Actually, they're probably going to be melting soon, so let's use Inferno. And then Jody can do. Um, another attack. Just build up some Starfire. Super caffeinated alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, welcome on my Silva. Critical hit! Damn. When, when he, when, 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 when they shift, when they, when they, your polarities, when, when they, when they shift your polarities. Let's refresh the Kraken armor. Ow. That hit hard. Okay. Melody, I'm gonna need you to do a lovely aura. I kinda wish Jody had an AoE shield ability, but it's Seems like she doesn't. Um, let's put Time Heals All Wounds back on, and then Jody and Flame Blade Allison. People can pass out, your body's like, stop please, we're dying. People will pickle their livers and just drop dead. You don't think they make Mellow Mood Soda anymore? Damn. That does kind of suck. First aid. Second aid. Okay, we have first aid and second aid, but what about third aid? Um, I need to speed up Allison. Jody needs to... Put a barrier on Claire so Claire doesn't die. Band aid? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I do have the Bard spell book, so that I probably found, have band aid in there. How intensive is the game's combat? So I have not done any XP farming. I've basically just been charging straight through the game. And it's it's been an acceptable level of challenge. Um, I've been able to to intelligent and thoughtful gameplay, be able to get through the bosses. Um, it's actually gotten me to use items, so I'm not like hoarding like, you know, every Final Fantasy game I'll have like 99 Phoenix downs by the end and all sorts of like one-off items. It's like. I don't know. I gotta use this. I'm, I might need this for the next boss. I might need this for the next boss. Then, then, then you beat the game and <laughs> you still have all those items. <laughs> um, 
So I think the challenge is very acceptable. Um, one really, really nice thing that I do. So I don't know if you've seen um, when I was running around in the over map that I got into combat when I ran into those black balls um, and they only reset on rezoning areas. But if you want to actually like farm to level up, there's an area called a monster den on most every map. And you can go in there and you basically get a random encounter every couple steps to facilitate um, farming up levels if one wishes to. Also, damn, the melody needed a barrier. Let's, um... Of course it's my fucking... the one person that can revive for mana and not using items. Get schwacked. Let's put a barrier on Allison as well. I would say the one thing in combat that it might be just because I haven't explored it very much, so I don't understand how it works, is um, so for Allison, she has these left jab, right jab, low kick, high kick things. And I. It, it feels like. I, I, like, I feel like, for the kicks at least, I'm kind of doing a coin flip, but it's really hard for me to understand when I should use each, and it's more like I figure out which one is best per enemy. Um, there's nothing that really jumps out at me, it's like, oh yeah, I should be using this versus something else. Um, that's really the only thing in combat that just kind of jumps out at me and feels a little unintuitive compared to everything else. Finish him! Oh, is it over? Hell yeah, get you them level ups. This, this cannot be the strongest and most handsome of Lord Javis's progeny, defeated by a bunch of circus animals. You may have defeated me. But father and the queen will be another story. Enjoy breathing while you still can. Oh, I left behind a chest. Warrior's headband. Hell yeah. I wonder if each of them are going to have like a special item for one specific character. The meme is have everyone boost Allison, and then the funny buddy does 10 quadrillion damage a turn. I mean, it's not wrong. Also, ah! Oh no, Index found the gnomes. The gnome stockpile. The strategic gnome stockpile. <laughs> I have been itching to play an RPG, which is why I'm glad Dolly put SLRPG on my radar. Because, like, I've seen Omori. I didn't want to really play. Ah! <laughs> Hell yeah. Durangar released the jam! Want to learn how to play instruments from metal school? I'm going to be the bard ban bandit. I need like a zoom. I need a. I have a zoom. I need a zoom. Er, I need a zoom. I need a zoom for my zoom on something like that. <laughs> God damn it! Well played. Well played. Um, not really my Omori vibes, but it's more like. Uh... Oh no. Oh man. Oh. It's more like some of the themes and stuff with Amori is kind of serious. And I feel like it's a game that I wouldn't be able to help myself from talking about personal stuff that right now I don't feel too comfortable to do. Um... So it's sort of like, 
I'm interested in it. It does look pretty well made. It looks like it has some really interesting systems. But some of the themes is like, maybe another time. It's not so much troubles, so much as just like being vulnerable and discussing some experiences and things to acquaintances and or strangers on the internet sort of thing. I don't know. I just feel like I would not be able to not talk about them with them being so front and center. Yeah, yeah. It's also like certainly a game I would not be playing on Mondays since I'm trying to play like comfy stuff on Mondays or nostalgic stuff. Honestly, I maybe should move Mega Man Battle Network to Mondays, but I don't know. Because Mega Man Battle Network is not a I don't know. I kind of like it because it gives me a chance to nerd out a bit and talk IT and also talk shit about uh, the world. <laughs> uh, even if it is a bit of a... It's an interesting... I don't know. I feel like that game's kind of in... not exactly the best screen, but I don't know. I'm having fun. We'll see how much if I actually go through all of it on stream. Let's see, Big is at the Sapphire Coast. So I think that's south. Um, what was I thinking? Want to listen mental stuff? Omar Vampa Vampire worse than you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that's definitely valid. Is this the Sapphire Coast? Is there a thing that shows me, like, the area I'm in? I'm pretty sure... No, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is right, because it's all kind of glitchy. And I think when we beat the other boss, it stopped being glitchy. Easy. Ah, Stratos. Oh, hello! A lovely day for a stroll on the beach, isn't it? Not when the beach is in a state like this. I find this version to be quite aesthetically pleasing, actually. You know, if you're just here to sightsee, you could just go really do that and not fight us. Leave behind any treasure you might have. Ah, but I have to fight you! This is the very reason for my existence! I'm sure you understand. But please, do not mistake my tone for lack of investment. I'm going to take great pleasure in your humiliating defeat. Bring it on, airhead. Alright, so we got a fire side and a cold side. You know, so his armor looks like a really silly, you know, like, here's the eyes. Here's the eyebrows, and then here's the mouth. So he's just kind of like... <laughs> Always steal from the boss. And we can't attack boost because I need to speed. No, I need to do a spell first. So we will try burning him. I feel like it's not going to do much. Still a neuron fly from FP to bring to us. We can do and stuff like that, but forgot who's taking it to her and tried to store a pearl. Oof. I fucking sob. Um, I don't know, I don't know how if you were on all my ring world, but when I got to L2CM and I sort of realized, finally realized what those things around LM or, uh, yeah, LTM were, um, I fucking sobbed. I felt so bad. But I mean, that's just, it's just good gameplay. It's, uh, really showing you, um, 
it letting it's it, it has you being an animal in in a world you don't understand and i think that's one of the things that makes rain world a very well developed game um, i think when i went through and was reading up on some of the developer leaf shield what is this Megman? Ice damage up, fire damage down. I see. Um, what if I use Gust? I feel like that's gonna blow away his leaf shield, maybe. Let's use Ice. And then Jody can give Allison an Ice Blade. Fucking multi attack, Mike! Wait, hold on. Let's do attack. Let's do. Avalanche. And then have Jody do barrier on Claire so she survives. But, um, the. What, the creator on Rain World, like, one of the things they were trying. Oh, come on, dude! It's like the it's like the experience of an animal in um, electric damage and healing up. Interesting, of like an animal in our world. So like, if there's like a rat running around in a city, you know the rat doesn't understand trains or cars or anything like that. Um, it's the perspective of all these these things going on around it that it may not be cognizant of. Alright, do I have anything to cure Frozen? I don't think I do. Oh, cool, Drecky, this is fine, this is great, you'll love to see this, yeah. Uh, let's use Time Heal some wounds. Best rare insult. Hit me with it. Fucking stop killing my healer. First you freeze her, then you kill her. And then I killed her, sir. Oh, that fire bullshit is what's doing it. That sun. Alright, so let's use Blast Beat. Let's use Frost on it. And then Jody, I need you to revive Melody. You're a few cards short and you're at the chessboard, honey. <laughs> Being set on fire can unfreeze you. I see. Well, Claire is collecting the fire stacks, it seems. I think my favorite is uh, you got a you got a face for radio and a voice for silent movies. <laughs> yeah, that one that one's pretty oof. <laughs> Let me use some water so I heal Claire and restore that. And then we have righteous blow. Get rid of that. Fuck! Still hit me with a multi scorch. Alright, we need to heal everyone. Allison needs to get rid of that shield. Claire, I want you to put Time Heal Some Wounds back on. And Jody. Um, crack the armor, I suppose. New ideas for new expanded streaming mascot, being able to get random puns. Yeah. One thing I've seen someone do is they have like a, uh, they have like a, a, a blessed and a cursed redeem. And the blessed gives like wholesome advice or says something nice. And then the cursed ones give like, bad advice or like 
shitty puns or things like that. <laughs> I think that one's also a pretty good idea. My the thing would be just like finding enough text. Like I have I I have like twelve things in my memeify, and that's already like what what else would be good to have rant as random text? Like I don't I don't know, man. I just fucking I don't know. Let's hit let's get some damage on the boss. And I think fire damage is down, so we need to hit the cloud. Let's do multi-frost. And we can righteous blow the cloud. Flame buffet? Okay! My people are almost dying again. Fuck. Alright, we need heal Claire. Allison, I need you to kill that cloud. Holy fuck, do I need to kill that cloud. Love some good snark and chaos. Yeah, yeah. I'm certainly a person who enjoys randomness as well. The fact I don't have any lightning... Fuck. I might have bitten more than I can chew. I feel like I need a little bit better gear, or prepare a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, No, not what I meant to do! Stop! Not what I meant to do! Ugh. Um, how do I load game? Yeah, I think we're going to save him for later, because I just was not hitting hard enough. I feel like I might need to be a little bit more intelligent about what I have equipped. Oh, a crustaceous conjurer! And a toxic anemone. You know what it is. I feel so much more low stakes going straight from boss battle to just normal random encounter. Hmm. I have- I know I have a spellbook that has lightning damage and I noticed it, but it's sort of like, I don't know who I would swap it off of. Maybe Claire? Yeah, maybe Claire, because like the time magic I u mostly used to buff Allison, but... Maybe it's not so great. And I can probably swap Jody to something else. There is that scrap cannon book that I've been saving, so that might actually be a good time to unload a lot of that scrap. Now that I think about it. Full court press! Like, I can switch this to. Now let's Geomancer. Glitchcraft has Jolt. Am I missing one? I guess when there was one that was specifically lightning focused. Maybe I mean, I'm just thinking of Glitchcraft. Actually, I haven't even looked at Glitchcraft. Let me find a random encounter, check it out. Let's see what happens. Yep, that was that was electricity. Glitch trap. Hey, I mean I'm I'm always down for a little bit of glitch hop. Glitch Mob is got some banger ass albums. Where's one of the other bosses? 
Celestial Wasteland and Amber Woods. Alright. I know where Amber Woods is, so let's hit that one up. Okay, if I were a mini boss, where would I be? Maybe they'd be up. Stretch. All right. Oh, a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. A little bit up, a little bit down. And a little bit of hydration to keep us on the ground. Thank you, Glotto. Where, oh, where are my dear enemies? Where, oh, where could they be? Maybe Wes? I mean, we just gotta find where the area starts turning glitchy, and then we find our enemy. Nope, that's towards that one chest. Actually, I feel like this might be the wrong way. Just because that leads to the other area, and I think... Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be west. Nope, I see glitch. Aha! Let's do this. Fight me, mono a mono baby. Um, hold on. I also wanted to equip Jody with. Machinus. I don't think we run into you as much as your brothers. Not very talkative, are we? Correct. Banter or no, you're destroying the park! Are you gonna leave peacefully, or do we have to do things the hard way? Prepare yourselves. Ooh, we got a Chronomancer over here! Um, let's do some Resilient Aura, because I don't know what he's gonna do. Let's steal from the boss. Hmm. Let's do a normal buff. Why not? Ooh, we got an elixir. Sacrifice the pawn. Oh, that's just rude. I feel like that could be very annoying if it, like, used spells on my own persons. Let's see. How will a frog... Actually, you know what? No. Nope. We'll attack buff Allison, and let's see what... Crack in the armor. Hell yeah. Allison, destroy! Nice. Fuck. Damn, is every turn it's gonna use two of my persons against my own team? That'd get very annoying very fast. Uh, let's see what Jolt does to him. And scrap cannon? Ooh. Flat 300 damage. That's pretty damn good, actually. Eh, let's just normal attack. Uh, Claire, I would like you to not die. That would be my preferred state of you existing. Let's hit her with that. We'll go with the blast beat. 
Um, Claire, I want you to jolt. Let's see what that happens. And then we need to barrier up Claire. So she does not die! Now that's some hella damage. Alright, so heal everyone. Actually, yeah, we need to heal everyone. Bash, bash. Mm hmm. Just keep hitting with the scorch, you know, in case we can get burn on him. And crack the armor again. Keep that armor down. Hell yeah. Forced to fight automatically. Well, fiddlesticks. Um, well, we survived. This is certainly an interesting gimmick boss. Bane Bonanza! Eh, we don't need that. We can do an Inferno! Over here, dummy! Ah, shit. I got hit with fast forward again. Well, at least my people are building up their star power. Alright. Not doing so hot, everyone, but we do have the blast beat. We can attack boost, and we can crack the armor. That seems to be my big nuke. It's basically... Well, getting her up to three star power so she can do the big ol'... Look at that damage. 1,000. Hell yeah. Let's buff Allison with a smooch. Oh, we're starting to get a little... little interesting on the mana. I need a bit of breathing room so I can fucking... Ah! Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this now. Allison, I need to keep up the pressure. Claire can use a potion on Allison, and then Jody can... Attack. That's not too bad. That's worse. And then we will Paladin's with Claire, make sure she's topped off. Allison can go for the Blast Beat. Claire can go for an Inferno. And make sure the armor is cracked. Roy starts repeating actions. I don't like the sound of that. I feel like we've almost got him. I think another, like, five or six turns. He says right as he jinxes it. Uh, let's put out some barriers. Ow. Ouch. Well, at least he's burning now, so we have some chip damage going <clears throat> chip damage going on. We need to build up for another big hit. But we need to top everyone off first. Oh damn. Damn, Claire! 
That was some good HP. Ah, uh, yes, one damage. Oh, come on. Two rounds of... Blood and Ashes. Okay, dude. Alright, we smooch. We blast beat. We attack boost. We crack the armor. Get him, Allison! Kick him right in the clock. Clean his clock. Fuck yeah! Two of the four down. Hydrate? All oh, right. That was a well-deserved level up. Farewell. Emerald wand. Ooh. Damn. Increases attack and magic. Uh, I think Claire would be best. Let's see, stretch. All right, I think I'll stretch hamstrings this time. Oh yes. Oh, the legs are my favorite. Hopefully, it will stop being so rainy, so I can go on more bike rides. I have a... The ultimate goal is to be able to have the fitness to bike to work. If I can get it to, like, a 30-minute time, I think that would be okay enough for me to attempt it. But as I work up there, there's actually, like, an ice rink much closer that I'm trying to build up to. Although I don't know how smart it is to plan on... Biking up to an ice rink just so I can skate and then bike home. But I have one brain cell, so that will be my excuse when I inevitably screw myself over. <laughs> I thought you were snake, you didn't have legs. Well, I'm like, I don't know, I'm kind of like one giant leg. I'm just a tube of muscle. And isn't a leg just a tube of muscle? Ooh, yeah, let's make sure to save. We are up to 115 smooches. Um, where else do we have? So we know the Sapphire Coast, so Clinston in Celestial Wasteland. I think. I think that was the desert. I frog ball and snow bat. I mean, if y'all want to die, we might as well as indulge them. Damn. Oh shit, he grew three sizes. That's the biggest frog we've had yet. And multi scorch. Easy. We punted that frog ball. Um, I need to get to the Astral. Or I need to go to the Teleporter to get up to Celestial Wasteland. I don't remember if I have an Astral Door to Celestial Wasteland, now that I think about it. Well, that would be a bit awkward, now would it? All right.
right, so from here... Sapphire Coast? No. Mumford. Yeah! Huh? It sounds like everyone's gathered in the middle of town. Come on! Aren't you guys curious? Even a little? Nah. I mean, I am, but... But what? Well, Nip, I ain't... I ain't not so sure what exactly you reckon we're gonna find there. Not good, that's for sure. Ah, you guys are unbelievable. Perfect opportunity to get some answers falls into our laps. You just want to throw it away? Doesn't it eat away at you constantly? Well, I'm fine with my life the way it is. Don't need to complicate about worrying about the past. Gonna said it better myself, crud. Fine, be that way. I don't need your help anyway, you selfish dicks. I'm sorry, is now a bad time? What exactly do you need help with? Forget it. I've already asked enough of you. You're probably still busy dealing with Jabez anyway. Hey, come on now. It's our job to help people in need. If it's something that involves fighting, now's the perfect time to actually fuck. fuck it. <laughs> trying to do the... Uh, the drawl is bleeding into the others. Allison's right. We're looking for extra training anywhere we can get it. Okay. Out in the desert, there's a dangerous place we call the crypt. It's... It's where we first broke up. Ipsy and I want to get in there and see if we can find any information about where we came from. We? You mean... The undead? Yeah. I don't know how much you heard from the others, but none of us remember where we came from. We don't remember our old lives, even if we had them. We just got woke up one day in this strange place full of broken machines and God... that do God knows what. Since that sucks to think about, most of us decided to take comfort in our simpler narratives. Being an archetype. I guess everyone kind of does that to an extent. Most people just don't say they're cowboys. Never been satisfied with that, though. There has to be some meaning behind all this. People don't get raised from the dead every day. I mean, I don't know if it's a good reason, but there has to be a reason why we're here. Problem is, Crypt has always been too dangerous for me to investigate. It's too big. Who knows how many feral bots are down there? But Ipsy and I figured, Amelia's back in town. Now we can get help from you guys too. If we rally the troops, we can face whatever is lurking in there. Except, of course, none of my neighbors are interested. They don't even want to know. Well, I, for one, can't resist a mystery like this. What about my mom? She knows the crypt better than anyone. She told me she's down if we can get a group together. That makes this, uh, interesting for me. But I guess now's my chance to show my mom what I can do. That's the spirit. Well, we're all... We're ready when you are, Neff. Man, now I'm really gonna owe you guys. Probably should talk to Amelia at the end first. She's the one who knows how to get in. Interesting. Um, spells. Nothing different. Uh, I feel like nothing's gonna be... I don't think it's updated since the plots advance. Yeah, no. Oh, that's not Amelia. Amelia is here. Oh, hi, Allison. What brings you and your friends back to Mumford? Oh, you know, no biggie. Just helping Neff get into this crypt we've heard so much about. Wait, really? That's no small feat, you know. But I guess I'd expect no less from you, Allison. Yep. I I mean, I, I could probably handle it on my own, but... Move it back in, dear. Well, uh, anyway. Neff said you know how to get into the crypt? Well, the first step would be unlocking the front door. There's a gem that acts as a key to get in. I hid it in an abandoned facility in the northwest corner of the wasteland. She must be in the building that turned into the neon labyrinth. Why'd you hide the key? Because the crypt is crawling with the most dangerous bots in the desert. I couldn't handle it alone when I found it years ago. With a team like this, though, we might just be able to make it through. I'll tell you more when we get there. Just go grab that key. And I'll meet you at the entrance to the crypt in the northeast corner of the desert. Hell yeah. Then we gotta go, we gotta get the key to get through the crypt. I wonder how much, like, 
if this is a significant side quest, because when we were Verena, we did make a pit stop over here, and she seemed kind of freaked out about the undead. So I wonder if learning about like why the undead are here is going to matter quite a bit when we try and talk down um, Verena. Um, northwest. So I need to go up and left. 